What's going on, family? We're back on here with the Juke, and today, man, we're going to be talking about the AL MVP, none other than Aaron Judge. I'm going to be listening off why he should be the MVP, why he will be the MVP, and why it's even crazy to think that he won't be the MVP. Let's get straight into it. All right, guys, so if you don't already know, Mr. Aaron Judge is leading the league in home runs. He is leading the league in RBIs, and your man is on pace to break a record. Your man is on pace to break the MLB AL home runs in a season, and honestly, it should be the MLB home runs in the season in history but um Barry Bonds does own it at 73 but I will say Roger Maris is the one that owns it legally of course without any steroid use or anything but uh Aaron Judge is putting history right in front of us man and we have to appreciate the greatness that is being set right in front of us he's hitting at an all-time high somebody that used to be a guy that only hits bombs or strikes out oh is hitting 300 as well Oh, and we also happen to be first in the AL East. Happens to be the toughest division in MLB as well. But um, a lot of people don't want to hear that. A lot of people want to hate. You know, I do feel like there is a large audience that does respect what they see. And they appreciate what they see because this is a season for the ages, to be honest. But at the end of the day, also, there are some other people that are up for candidates to be the MVP. And I'm going to be showing you why they are should not be. Aaron Judge is just on a different level right now. And um, I'm not even going to let myself talk. Let's let's dive into the stats real quick. All right, if we take a look right here, Mr. Aaron Judge, of course, he has an 8.2 war. We're going to circle back to that. Remember that. We're going to circle back. Uh, your boy is batting a 299, almost a 300 batter, while hitting the most home runs in the league. Career high. He actually hit one today against the Twins. He's at 54 right now. Ladies and gentlemen, 54 with a month left to play. This guy is going to smash that record. That's what my opinion is. Um, right now, he's just on a different level. And the only thing that could really stop him is if they stop pitching to him. If they just start saying, hey, we don't trust the other guys you have in your lineup. We're just not going to pitch to him at all and just walk him. That's the only way I can see them not doing it. That's why it's so important if Giancarlo Stan can come back and start playing well. And um, honestly, just surround him with batters that give him protection. That is the number one thing. But the craziest thing is that he's hitting this without protection. Your boy is leading the MLB in RBIs with 115, also career high. Your boy is also career high in stolen bases. Your boy is running out here. He's doing sprints. He's a track star. 15 out of 17. Your boy is going ham right now. And listen, I really genuinely think that there is nobody on another level right now with him doing all this we're still on a downward trend right now i already said in the last video for the yankees i said this raise series is very important as far as like where we're gonna stand we ended up losing two out of three but you know what's even crazier about that is that we only scored three runs and all those three runs came from aaron judge he's on a different level man and i can strongly say without him this team would be down in the dumps. It really would be down in the dumps. You know, I can't even say that they'll be better than the Orioles. For sure better than the Red Sox, of course, but I can't say they'll be better than the Orioles. So it's tough right now. It's tough right now for us. But at the end of the day, it just shows how big of an impact Aaron Judge has on this team and one of the best teams in the MLB. When you go look at our record, we're one of the best teams in the MLB. And listen, man, when you stack it up against other people's stats, bro, no one can compare, but of course, let's go to the leading man that is second behind Aaron Judge, Shohei Otani. All right, y'all, so looking at Shohei's stats, of course, I'm not an Angels fan. I'm not an Otani fan, so I don't have all the stats to pull out, but I will say 7.6 war, 7.6 wins above replacement. Shohei is pitching and batting. He's doing something that nobody is doing in the league right now, and something we haven't seen in a very long time since probably Babe Ruth. And it's still lower than Aaron Judge's war. Aaron Judge's win above replacement. Aaron Judge is just on a different level right now. You know, I understand what Shohei is able to do and nobody's able to do that. But at the same time, I definitely feel like winning should be considered in all of this. And I definitely think if you plug Judge from our team, we're going to be bad. But guess what? Shohei's team is still bad right now. This, this team is still 20 games behind on a wild card appearance. This team is buns. You plug them from the team, there's just still buns. Aaron Judge's team right now is first in the AL East. You take them off that team, God knows where they are right now. That definitely should be taken accounted for when it comes to the MVP, when it comes to the most valuable player, most valuable player to the team, most valuable player on the best team, on the best team, one of the best teams in the MLB right now. Listen, Aaron Judge is a clear-cut MVP. Listen, there is a month of baseball left. And right now, I think unanimously, Aaron Judge is the MVP. 
on one of the better teams, on one of the best teams, and he's leading the league in a lot of statistical categories. So it's not just me. Listen to the stats. Go look at the stats. Your boy might lead the league in home runs and be above 300 in batting average. He's a cheat code right now. And listen, for the Yankees, this is going to be expensive because I did say give him a blank check. Sign him with whatever it takes. Of course, the longevity is a factor. You don't want to sign him for 10 years. But give him whatever he wants. I said it before. you know. But maybe the Yankees didn't give him that contract so he can come out and ball like this. And listen, I think it's going to take a World Series championship to keep him. Hopefully, he's able to carry us to that. He's been carrying us all along this way. And listen, it might have ignited a fire in him that caused him to have one of the best seasons we've ever seen before. The Yankees are on a downwards trend right now. Let's just hope that the whole team starts to play up at least a little bit to a fraction of Aaron Judge's level. And this team can go out there and win a lot of games. So let's just continue to stay on it. Let's see where they end up going. But listen, Aaron Judge is going to be the MVP. All right, guys, this is going to wrap up this video. Please let me know where do you think Aaron Judge stands in the MVP standings. Let me know who you think the MVP should be. And let me know if Aaron Judge is going to break the record or not. Please let me know down in the comments. Make sure you're liking it up, subscribing, of course, because once again, it is free. It's free is for me and free is for you. Hit that subscribe button. We're going to get our way up to 100. And uh, honestly, I just hope you guys appreciate the content. I'll catch you on the next vid. Peace.